Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So uh, you might have watched one of my other uh, previous videos where we did the application of a former hoof on an endurance horse. Um, today we're gonna talk a little bit more about former hoof. I wanna give you a little bit more information. I think that video was lacking what actually is former hoof. Um, and then we've also got um, two horses here today. One's gonna be an interesting case. We've got a chronic laminetic, um, which is um, the original, um, what former hoof were designed for. Um, so that's gonna be interesting. And we're also gonna have a little play around with the colors. Um, and see what we can come up with. So here's some of the kit that uh, we've got here on display. We've got a range of mo uh, molds. Molds come in different sizes. Um and they come in half sizes as well, uh, and also different types. We've got our performance molds, uh, we've got our traction molds, and we've also got barefoot molds. Um, we've also got the, the AP resin here. So this is the former hoof AP resin. Um, it's a two part um, polyurethane mix. Um, so when you get your starter kit, you'll get your gun, the gun applicator. Um, you'll get um, the nozzles. You'll get a bag of nozzles, uh, you'll get 12 tubes, and you'll get whatever mold you, or you order. They also supply the antibacterial solution, which is because you're encasing that frog and you, you're sort of covering up that sole area, um, it's, it's a good idea to sort of treat any potential bacteria that's in there. So the antibacterial solution is brilliant for that. Um, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna get the ponies out, uh, we're gonna have a little look at their feet, uh, and then we're gonna crack them. So we start with the one that's gonna do pink. Hello there, little one. Hey. Okay, so this is Callie. Um, just a little um, little pony we've got here today, but she's also a chronic laminetic. And last year, she suffered a little bit with Cushing's disease. Um, we're on top of the Cushing's disease now, um, and we've had her in um, different bar shoes. But what we're going to try today, we're going to try the former hoof on um, Callie. Um, Former hoof is very good at sort of restoring the angles that you lose through um, the chronic laminitis, uh, but also giving us some sole support, engaging with the, the frog and, and, the, and the back half of the foot. Um, so as you can see, if we take a little closer look at her feet, and if you come from the side, what we've got is we've got the, the typical sort of chronic laminetic. We've got long in the toe, low in the heels, uh, and we get a real thickening of this dorsal hoof wall here. We get this laminal wedge. Um, so her, her angles are totally off. And what I would like to do is get them up a little bit, get her standing up on these feet uh, and supporting that back half of the foot. Okay, so we're just gonna walk her up and down now and have a little look, um, see how she's, she's tracking up. It's always good to have a reference uh, before and after when you apply the former hoof. Um, you might not be able to pick it up on camera, but what she actually does, she flicks her toes. Um, she flicks her toes and then she rocks on them shoes. So I really believe that those shoes aren't the right thing for her. Um, so let's um, take them off and go for the former hoof and see, see what she's like on the, uh, uh, the post shoeing walk up. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm standing outside the Okay, so what you can see here is we've got no solar depth and no wall height. So we get this laminal stretching because she's because of the laminitis. Um, we get the cushion of the heels, so we don't have a lot of vertical depth standing on our soles. Um, so I think the former hoof is going to help rebuild the heels, give it that three degree elevation, uh, and also protect the sole um, from any sort of bruising. Really keep that toe nice and short. So what we're doing with the trim is we're getting these heels back to nice, healthy, and strong um, horn quality. This, this inside heel's actually got a little buckle in here. So we're getting that down, getting it nice, back to the widest, highest part of the frog. Um, so hopefully, with the time that the former hoof is gonna be on, we're gonna get some nice heel growth. Um, we've really trimmed it, um, really cleaned the foot up. Um, I'm gonna probably go over one more time with the, with the drill, get rid of all this necrotic tissue in the white line and down the, the clefts of the frog, central sulci, make sure it's lovely and clean, and then we'll apply our antibacterial solution. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're just roughing up that 
um, hoof wall, um, creating that sort of Velcro-like consistency, which will really um, grip onto the uh, the former hoof resin. Uh, this is the Co Cody James rasp. So we'll just go around where the resin's going to be, and we'll just roughen up this this hoof wall area. Okay, so what I'm going to use, I'm going to use a glue you product here called Dental Impression Material. Uh, it's a two-part silicon mix. What it's going to do is going to be really soft. It's about a Shure 15 hardness. Um, which is really soft, and I'm going to put that in the uh, in the beside the, the frog, uh, and around the back half of the foot because that AP resin is actually quite a hard setting plastic. Um, you want it to be quite hard because you want it to last, uh, and not necessarily have to put a shoe on it. Um, so I'm going to put some of this nice soft dental impression just underneath it, um, across her sole, so she's nice and comfortable. Okay, so we've just cleaned the foot up again. Um, what we're going to use now is our antibacterial spray. We're just going to really liberally apply that right down those clefts of the frog, right down the central sulci of the frog. Just try and keep it in there, and then probably a white line here. Okay, so we've got our mold ready, we've got our mesh, we've got the dental impression, we've put some antibacterial on the foot, so it's nice and clean now. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to pop this dental impression in here, Fill those, vo um, fill those little medial and lateral clefts of the frog, a little bit over the sole, and it's just starting to go off as well, so that's brilliant timing. Pop that on. We come with our mesh. We pop our mesh around the toe, keeping it in place, ready for the mold. And here we go. We get our mold, and we pop that in. And get it to stand on it. There you go. Okay. Take one of the nozzles. Send silk out. There you go. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that all this mesh is pushed in to the mold. I've got a nice bit out sticking out the back, and I'm just checking I've got a good coverage all the way around. Okay, so I'm just going to purge a little bit out. We're just going to make sure that the mixture is mixing well. That'll do. And we're going to go for our toe entry point first, so get that. Just while we're waiting for this other one to set, it's quite a cold day here. We are in the middle of January here in the UK, so uh, we'll we'll give that one plenty of time. It's also going to allow her to stand on it and really push that material around, really conform to how she's more comfortable with that sort of solar arch and where it packs the bottom of the foot. So we'll work on this um, this right for now. We'll take the shoe off. We'll prep it up, ready to go. Okay, so I'm just going to break the seal, um, and as you can see, it just pops. Um, so I know I can get this off nice and easily, and then we'll go around the back, and we'll start peeling it off from the heels. So what we'll do, we'll start with the heel area, and we'll just slowly work our way back. And what you'll find is the injection points. We'll try and hold it on. Okay, so what we're looking at here is, um, we'll, we'll try and get it from a, a dead-on lateral view, is we're looking at the angle of the hoof wall um, in comparison to the to the right fore, which doesn't have the former hoof on there. You can see she's long in the toe and low in the heels, if you look at the right fore. Yeah, so straight away, just with the application of the former hoof, you can see how that angle has really changed on this left fore, really picked her up in them heels, and got a better hoof past and axis, the axis from the fetlock down through the pastern and down through the hoof wall. If we have a look at the back there, we can see the bulbs, bulb of heels, got nice coverage around the bulbs, really, really protecting that area, but also, as you can see, we've got some good heel height, really lifting them heels up, 
really getting that better hoof geometry um, with all that added bonus of sole protection, solder support. finished product so we've got a pink one and a purple one um, but what we'll do now is we'll walk her up and down and just see how she is on them uh, but all in all the application has been, been a good application so let's see how she goes she's landing nice and flat on them which is brilliant she no longer has that toe flick that she had with the shoes she's landing lovely and level Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So thinking back to when she was in the shoes, she had that toe flick, that secondary landing on them heels. I think she's got a much, um, much steeper hoof angle, good hoof pass than axis, um, good heel height now, and all that sole, sole support, sole protection. So yeah, we'll touch base in uh, a couple of weeks and just have a bit of a follow up see how she's getting on uh, and we'll probably go through the, the sort of removal process then. Okay, so to just finish off, we're just gonna have a little look now at the bottom. You can see we've got good level weight sharing capabilities now with the frog. We're engaging with the sole. Um, we've got lovely coverage around these heels here, around the heel bulbs. A lot of people are concerned because they think this restricts the, uh, the, expan the natural expansion of the foot. But due to the thinning of the material, we've got plenty of mesh in there. It actually allows for that foot to function how it should as a barefoot foot. So there you go. Another ap application of former hoof. See you on another video, guys. Thank you.